don't know what I should do And I wish you would be right here with me My mind is filled with pictures Of when we used to dance But now I don't know where you are I miss you so bad, won't you come back to me? Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all doing really good. So today is Monday, we have, well I have just dropped Alfie off at school um, and now I'm heading back home because we've got some work to do and just a little bit of stuff that I need to get done at home and then I'm actually heading out to meet my mum, um, I've not seen her for ages. Um, so me and little Woody are going for um, lunch with my mum, meeting my mum and I need to go to Home Bargains, I'm um, just going to have a little mooch around the shops. We have just got back from Centre Parks, well on Friday, it's Monday now, but we had a week, well five days in Centre Parks, it was so lovely but like so full on because um, there's that many like activities to do and obviously we went with a big group of us, all our family and cousins and stuff so it was very full on. Um, but we had such a lovely time, um, such a nice time just spending some family time together, all of us, and doing some really good activities. So that was good. I didn't vlog any of it because I just kind of switched off a little bit and just had some nice family time. I'm sorry I'm not looking at the camera a lot, I'm just trying to drive as well. Um, but yeah, welcome to the vlog. I thought I would just do a little day in the life. Um, I have my operation on Thursday. Um, I don't know if some of you might might know, some of you that follow me on my Instagram, I haven't actually spoke about it on here before on my YouTube channel, um, but I've spoke about it on Instagram and I have gallstones and so on Thursday I'm going in for keyhole surgery to have my gallbladder removed. Um, I've been on the waiting list now since July, um, so I'm now going in on Thursday to have my gallbladder removed. I'm super, super nervous. Like, I think I'm more nervous about just being away from the boys and Steve and the recovery. I'm not actually nervous about the operation because they do it every single day. It's like such a, a like a common thing. Um, so I'm not nervous like about the procedure or anything like that. Um, obviously I am a little bit because I've never had an operation before. I've never like broken a bone or anything. So for me to go in and have like an actual operation be put to sleep is a little bit daunting but um, I'm ready and prepared I'm so ready for it to be out so I don't have to worry about just worry about it all the time and worry about having another flare-up if I eat something that I shouldn't have eaten and my my pain gets really bad because the pain that you get from gallstones is just un, like, undescribable like I can't explain to you how how painful it is it's worse than childbirth I would rather give birth to children over and over again than have that pain it's just it's just horrendous so I'm so excited for Thursday to go to the hospital and get it out um, so I will be hopefully vlogging the day I'm gonna try and vlog my surgery and vlog like my experience with it and me going into hospital and me coming home and everything like that my recovery and whatnot um, so yeah it's it's all a bit busy as well so that's why today I'm meeting my mum so I can go to home bargains get a couple of things I'm wanting to get the boys some stuff for like a first of December box so they're like all Christmas here because I'm worried that my recovery is going to take me a while and I'm not going to be able to like get all festive with them so I'm just getting myself organized and prepared so that the so that I've got things for the boys and I, we can be all Christmassy I'm also waiting for my tree to arrive I ordered it from I can't remember the name of it now. It begins with B, something Hill or yeah, something Hill. I think it's an Irish company. Um, but I ordered a Christmas tree from there, so I'm waiting for um, waiting for that to arrive, which I'm so excited about because I've heard nothing but good reviews about these Christmas trees. It's a pre-lit one as well, so I think that'll be so much easier. Um, so I'm really looking forward to a Christmas tree arriving. I think we're going to put it up on the 1st of December. All being well, hopefully I can I feel up to it. Um, but yeah, this has been a very long intro to the vlog. Um, so I'm going to see you all when I get back home.
breakfast now and I'm just popping on a little bit of makeup. I'm just using some concealer to do under my eyes just to make them a bit brighter. Um, and then I have my pre-op um, phone call appointment at 10. So I'm waiting for somebody to ring me. Um, it's obviously, you, you would normally go in to the hospital for a pre-op, but now it's all over the phone, obviously due to COVID and stuff. Um, so I'm just waiting for a phone call at around 10-ish um, for this pre-op. Um, and she's gonna obviously explain things more in detail, things that I'm gonna need for Thursday. Um, and yeah, I'm a little bit nervous and, She's also probably going to talk to me about a COVID test because I've got to have a COVID test um, around 72 hours before my operation and then I have to isolate from that day. So yeah, um, I'm just going to pop a little bit of makeup on, wait for this call and then we're going to head off and meet my mum. So it's tea. Someone is refusing to put their coat on. <laughs> He's got his little Christmassy outfit on. Um, this is from Zara. It looks very cute. <laughs> and my tracksuit is also from Zara. And then I've got my Air Force on as well. I'm going to go and get in the car now. We're just waiting for Steve. Just grab his bags and he's meeting us at the car. I'm hoping that I've got some signal because where we drive, I don't have a signal and I need signal obviously to take this pre op phone call. So fingers crossed. I can have some signal. Hey, love you. Love you all the world. Have bye fun. Bye bye, whatever you are. Bye bye, smelly bum. <laughs> bye bye, blood kid. We have, whoa, this car's nearly reversing into me. We have just dropped Steve off now. He has gone to the post office and to, <gasps> I can't cope with this guy. So close to my car. <gasps> oh my God, I can't cope with her. Oh my God. Um. Oh, I've lost my words now. So we've dropped Steve off. He's going to the post office and the gym. We're going to go and meet my mum now. Um, I've just had my pre-op assessment on the phone. And I, I got off the phone and I cried to Steve because I'm just getting really nervous now because she was explaining to me like how they put you to sleep and stuff. So they put like um, a catheter, not a catheter. <laughs> um, what's it called? Is it a catheter? I can't even remember now what it's called. Anyway, they put the the thing in your arm, uh, in your hand, and then obviously you've got your, your gas on and they say to just count backwards from 10 and you'll just fall asleep. And it just makes me like super nervous thinking about it. So I just started getting a bit emotional because I'm, I'm very nervous. Um, and then tomorrow morning I have to go to the hospital for a COVID test because obviously you've got to have a COVID test before you go into hospital to stay. Um, so I'm going to have that in the morning tomorrow and then as of then I have to self-isolate until I go into hospital. Um, so yeah, it's all go, 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 organisation, getting sorted and getting ready for tomorrow's COVID test and then the operation on Thursday. What's mummy doing? Mummy's having to go and have an operation, isn't she? Are you going to miss me? Are you going to look after me? Are you going to be my nurse at home? Will you bring me cups of tea? <laughs> and biscuits? Can you do that? Please? I don't even know how to make a cup of tea. Your daddy have to help you. Yeah? Will you do that? Will you make me cups of tea? That'll make me super happy. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Okay, we're going to go and meet Mum now um, and we'll see you when we get there. Here it is. We're having an absolute nightmare. There's been a crash on like a main road. Um, so we're having to go like on the back roads and it is literally gridlock. There is just cars and cars and cars coming out of nowhere trying to get through. <sighs> There's been like loads of fire engines, police, everything. And so everyone's just getting stuck on the back roads because the back roads are really small compared obviously to the main roads so we're back near where we used to live um, and the roads are tiny like if you've got to like cut through so hey, it's not good we're all queuing like crazy but I just um I was saying I was saying to Woody the sun is so bright I'm not surprised that there's been a crash because I reckon it's something to do with the sun because it's you can hardly see when the sun is like 
directly in your face like if someone's visor thing has broken or anything like that then they're going to really struggle so i hope that the people are okay whoever's been in the crash there was like three fire engines there was police and ambulance so it's gonna obviously have been a big crash so we're just trying to get through all of this we're gonna be late to meet your mum now and i don't know if i'm gonna, I'm gonna be back and be late to see granny granny right we're finally here parked up i'm just gonna wait for mum now and we're gonna go into home bargains i'll try and do some video in there and show you like what's Christmassy and all the new kind of things that are in and I'll obviously do a little haul when I get home as well and show you what I picked up um so yeah let's go hello Nana's here what is in the trolley yeah. aren't you I think you're a bit too small for that I mean too big for that sorry Ooh, come around there. Aren't you? No, aren't. Christmas planner. oh Carly's made a really good my friend Carly She's made a really good, like, her own Christmas planner, like, bought it and crafted it herself, like, put loads of, like, pretty festive stuff on it and done a really good one. Um, what are you going to get, Wood? What he said this morning, he said, I know what I'm going to get because I'm with Nana, he said, I'm going to get a toy. <laughs> he said to Steve, he said, I'm going to get a toy because Nana's with us. <laughs> <laughs> to head to Sainsbury's to the cafe at Sainsbury's and get some lunch um, I'll probably get a jacket potato because that's all I've been eating these days um, so we're gonna go get some lunch I might have a little look at what they've got in Sainsbury's because I don't have a Sainsbury's near me anymore really um, so it'd be nice to have a look around Sainsbury's because I haven't done for a while so I'll have a look at the Christmassy home bits and try and show you some nice stuff because I love seeing all the Christmas content and Christmas stuff out everywhere and have just had a phone call from Russell. Russell is my DPD driver, I think, um, or one of the parcel peoples. Um, and he's just rang me to say, I've got your Christmas tree. So um, our Christmas tree will be waiting when we get home as well. That's exciting. It feels really weird being in Keithley because so much has happened here. Like I used to work at Asda in Keithley when I was younger from like the age of I think from about 16 till I was till I was 18. Um and then I obviously went to college here as well at Keithley College. So it's it just feels weird. I've not been here for ages, so it feels really strange seeing the college and stuff where I did my public services because I wanted to be a police lady. Now look at me. Now look at me, YouTube, Instagram, got my own business, I'm just, yeah, it's completely different, it's crazy how life just is different to how you kind of expected that it's going to turn out, it's just been completely different, um, in good ways as well, super happy with, with where I am in life and where I'm going, I feel really proud, really, really proud of myself and I think it's it should be, um, I don't know, it should be celebrated, being proud of yourself. You should be proud of your achievements. Like if, if you didn't think you were going to be in a certain place or get certain things, like you should be proud if you've done that and if you've achieved certain things. I think you should be really proud. So I'm proud of me for getting to where I am today. I'm celebrating that with a jacket potato. But hey, what are you yeah. eating? Sandwich. Cheese sandwich. Mm, you've got your new motorbike. <coughs> Is your sandwich nice? Oh, yogurt. Yeah. I've got chocolate milkshake. Mm. Yummy. Look what's here, guys. What the Christmas it? tree. So we are back home now. I'm going to show you everything that I got from Home Bargains I picked up. And I'm also going to show you like a little, try not to let the boys hear me, um, like a 1st of December box. I'm going to go upstairs and show you that as well. Don't mind the state of the kitchen. There's literally just stuff everywhere. 
um because i just walked in and we need to sort everything out i feel like anytime we go out we come back and the car is just full of stuff so um we need to sort out loads of things so i'm going to just quickly show you what i picked up from home bargains so i got the boys these little sticker and activity books i always get them them every year just something for them to do on a a wet rainy day that we're maybe stuck inside or something and there's lots of different activities in there to do and um, we've got these little cups these straw cups i thought would be really sweet to have coming up to christmas and stuff and then i also got them these little snowmen bath bombs and um, we've got the santa team santa pajamas you can actually get like family matching sets so i got um, age seven to eight for alfie and i got age four to five for woody I also got these little baths. I don't really know what you call them, actually, to be honest. What would you call them? Scrunchies. Bath body puff, he's actually called, Steve. Um, <laughs> bath body puffs. Um, or buffs, did he say? I can't remember now. Yeah, it's body puff. Right, anyway. I got a reindeer one and, like, a little elf one for the boys. Um, and then I also got these for the, for the dogs. I mean... My mum was like, you can't be serious, but I got them both. <laughs> this little Team Santa one and then also this elf one for Oscar and Mabel because I just thought they would be dead cute. <laughs> I hope they fit them. I'm going to try them later. Um, I got Steve a Reese's calendar because he's obsessed with them. And I also got myself a Malteser one. I've already got the boys two dairy milk ones that are actually upstairs, but um, I got myself the Malteser one. I love Maltesers. Um, and then I also picked up some of this. So the Comfort Winter Sparkle Fabric Softener. It smells really nice. And then, of course, I had to get myself like a Christmassy mug. Got this one with a root on for Rebecca. It's got a little Santa hat on. And then I also got a Santa hat because no doubt at some point Alfie's going to say to me, Mummy, we all need Santa hats at school. So I got a Santa hat um, for when that day comes because I feel like I need to be organised. And then this little bunting is actually from Etsy that has just arrived. How cute is that? I'm so excited to put that up. Um, it's like all the little holly on. I'm so, so looking forward to putting that up in, I think our kitchen. I think I'm going to probably switch it for... The bunny one sorry you can probably hear the dogs having their food you hear them scratching around in the bowls <laughs> um but yeah i'm gonna swap the uh, rabbit bunting for this new christmasy bunting at some point as well i just love that i'll try and find the etsy page and link it down below in the description as well because i just think that's really really sweet i also got this magical snow globe as well woody picked this up and he really wanted it so it's like a little wind up one with snow falling i thought that was really sweet and um, very red kind of themed i like going for like the traditional stuff as well as like i'm gonna add some creamy kind of color baubles i think to the tree this year and um, but we will see i don't know whether i should film like a decorate with me video or just show you like when it's all decorated show you the tree uh, i feel like so many people are doing like the decorate with me for christmas and i'm just i don't know if i'm gonna do that or not this year we will see um but yeah i really think that's super cute Tiggy's having cuddles. Oh, she's, all the babies have gone now. Haven't they? All your babies gone. It's just us now. And chill. <laughs> Who's a good boy? What do you think? Who is he? Who is he? Who is he? What do you think, boys? It's... Do you think it's cool? It's crazy. <laughs> oh, so i'm finally getting into bed um i haven't picked up the vlog for ages now um but we got back um and i showed you the stuff that i got from home bargains and then we had some work and stuff to do when it was tea time and sorting the boys out and stuff after school and it was all just a bit chaos so i didn't really pick the vlog up to to talk and um, so i finally just got into bed and it feels so good to lay down i'm so tired um and i sort of want to end this vlog on like a a low like sad note um i've just been having a cry downstairs just getting emotional because tomorrow is two years since my nana died 
and just oh, every time I think about her or talk about her or anything it just makes me get really upset so I've just been having a little a little cry because I miss her and I think because of my op on Thursday and stuff I'm just feeling a little bit overwhelmed and nervous and a stress and stuff and I know if she was here she'd be on the phone and she'd be saying everything's gonna be okay like you're gonna be fine I'm gonna I'm gonna see you after it and bring you like a big goodie bag full of like biscuits and chocolates and all sorts of goodies that she would always give me every time I saw her she would always have biscuits and goodies and here take this please take this I've got you this and I've got you that she was just the best um so just having a little emotional cry <laughs> meltdown um but i'm okay everything's okay and she would want me to be happy so let's end this vlog happy um tomorrow i'm going for my covid test at i think it's about nine forty-five in the morning so i'm going for that and then as of then, I have to self-isolate until my operation date. Um, so I will pick up the camera on operation day and hopefully film like my day and kind of hopefully get some get some good footage of like me going into theatre maybe or like on the ward and stuff. I don't think I'll obviously be able to take my camera into the actual operation. That's stupid. Um, but I'll be able to like do before I go in and talk and hopefully before do a lot before and then after as well so I will try and vlog the day and I just want to like kind of share my journey with it all because the, the amount of people that have messaged me to say that they've got gallstones or they're having problems with the gallbladder or they're having the gallbladder removed like me since I shared that I was it's just mad how common it is and how many people seem to have them so yeah i just think it'll be helpful if i share kind of my journey with it and how it's gone and everything like that and the procedure and stuff so yeah so i am going to end this vlog here i hope that you have enjoyed spending the day with me and seeing kind of what i got up to and seeing what i got in her bag and things like that sorry for my little cry at the end um but yeah keeping it real and just showing you every day me and whatever is going on in my life so yeah i hope that you have enjoyed it thank you so much for watching if you've got right to the end thank you so much i really appreciate it and um, don't forget to give it a thumbs up make sure you hit subscribe if you are new and the little bell so you get notified when i upload a video thank you for watching and i will see you in my next one bye guys